Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, toured today the Bahrain International Circuit following the first practice session of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022 race. His Royal Highness highlighted that the Kingdom has become a global destination for motorsport events. Thanks to the Kingdom's skilled national workforce and prominent role in organizing and hosting successful races over the years. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince toured the paddock and track area where he met with senior Formula One figures, team managers, racers and race organizers and was briefed on preparations before the start of the final race. His Royal Highness expressed his gratitude and appreciation for the efforts of the Kingdom's national workforce and their dedication and contribution to the organizing of various sporting events. The National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa met with the Chief of Pakistan Air Force Air Marshal Zahir Ahmed Babar Sidhu at the command headquarters in the Pakistani capital Islam Abad. The Pakistan Air Force Chief hailed the visit of the National Guard Commander to Pakistan, which comes within the framework of boosting military relations between both countries. The National Guard Commander praised the advanced level of bilateral military cooperation, lauding Pakistan's role in preserving regional and international security and stability. Both sides discussed issues of common interest and ways of further bolstering the bilateral relations of friendship and cooperation, mainly in the military field. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the International Endurance Racing Championship organized by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation was launched at the Bahrain International Endurance Village. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his appreciation to the many participants in the qualifying races, which confirms the achievement of introducing new faces to the Bahraini endurance sport as part of the vision pursued by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, headed by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, which created the ideal atmosphere for stables and jockeys. His Highness pointed out that the main race is sure to witness great competition between stables and jockeys. Sheikh Nasser wished success to all the participants in showcasing the best level of performance that reflects development of Bahrain endurance sport. The championship is supported by Tamkeen, the Bank of Bahrain and Kuwait, Hawaii Bahrain, Nawaf Mohammed Al Jishi Group, Hashim Al Wida'i Advocates and Legal Consultants, As Salam Bank, Al Mahdi Stefan, and Ascon Company.
the Russian Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the 25th race of the season, held on the cup of the representative, personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the cup of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the cup of His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the cup of the Arab Shipbuilding and Repair Company Asri, and the Rashid Club Cup for Equestrian and Horse Racing. The event was held on the club's racetrack in Arrafa in Sakhir in the presence of a number of their highnesses, representatives of Asri, and an audience of equestrian sports and horse racing enthusiasts. The winners of the race cups were crowned as His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Muhammad Al Khalifa presented the cup of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa to Muhammad Khalid Abdul Rahim and the cup of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the winner Alan Smith and the cup of His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the seventh round to the winning owner Raid Al Bu'inin while the managing director of Asri company Mazen Muhammad Matar presented the Asri cup to His Highness Sheikh Hashim bin Muhammad bin Salman Al Khalifa while the executive director of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa presented the cup of His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Khalifa for Arabian horses to the winner Abdullah Kwaiti and presented the cups, the club's cup for the fourth round to the winning owner Muhammad Qambar. This race consisted of eight rounds. The first New Era event kicked off at the Bahrain International Circuit, the home of motorsports in the Middle East, as part of the theme for the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. Alpha Tauri driver Pierre Gasly managed to achieve the fastest time during the first practice lap, which is considered the first event on the track for the New Era of the World Championship. Mercedes-Benz driver Philippe Drogovic was also able to lead the first practice sessions in the FIA Formula 2 Championship at the Bahrain International Circuit. Roman Stanek Trident driver set the fastest time in the opening practice session of the FIA Formula 3 Championship during its opening round. Miao Ries Xiaoring was also able to lead the first day and the first test of the Porsche Sprint Middle East Championship at the Bahrain International Circuit. The Formula One village also witnessed a large crowd in attendance to experience the entertainment atmosphere accompanying the largest sports event in the Middle East and the enjoyment of fun activities directed at individuals and families. The Bahrain International Circuit, the home of the motorsports in the Middle East, began to raise the level of excitement and suspense associated with the start of the new era of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022, hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain for the 18th year. This year's race will witness the participation of a number of new cars. As it always has been, the Bahrain Grand Prix offers plenty of excitement for start of the 2022 season, which has local Arab and an international following. Bahraini fans and motorsports enthusiasts from around the world are looking forward to the race, which will be held for the 18th year in a row under the floodlights at night. The Kingdom of Bahrain is hosting the Formula One under the slogan, The New Era. Since hosting the race for the first time in 2004, where the Kingdom recorded impressive success in organizing the race over the last few years due to the capabilities and equipment of the sophisticated Bahrain International Circuit, comparable to the best Formula One racing tracks in the world. And supporting the Formula One, the Ministry of Interior announced the completion of all preparations needed to secure the international sporting event hosted by the Kingdom. The Ministry of Interior, with its various departments and security services, have established plans and raised readiness in order to enhance cooperation, joint coordination 
and complete the necessary security arrangements in a manner benefiting the Grand Prix. And the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority has announced the establishment of a hospitality area at Bahrain International Airport where the authorities team will receive incoming tourists to introduce them to the tourist destinations and recreational activities in the kingdom. This is in line with the promotional campaign launched by the Tourism Authority under the title March in Bahrain. And coinciding with the launch of a number of various programs and activities it organizes in addition to the upcoming launch of Formula One races. For his part, the Chief Executive Officer of the Bahrain Tourism Authority, Dr. Nasser Qaidi, said that a specialized and trained team of the authority's caterers will present at the Bahrain International Airport and provide assistance to the tourists answering their questions and providing them with the necessary instructions. Qaidi said the new area reflects the diversity and richness of the Bahraini tourism sector. Under the patronage of the President of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the King Hamad University Hospital launched a national campaign for early detection of colorectal cancer and in coordination and participation with the Ministry of Health. The National Committee for the Control of Chronic Non-Communicable Diseases and Primary Health Care Centers under the slogan, Your Chance to Heal. The President of the Supreme Council of Health inaugurated the campaign activities in the presence of the Health Minister, Faika bin Saeed al Saleh, senior doctors, specialists, and participants in the campaign. The awareness campaign is being held by the hospital annually with the participation of many institutions and hospitals and it includes many awareness messages as well as health and educational information about the diseases with the aim of urging those over the age of 45 to benefit from this campaign. Gastroenterology and hepatology consultant and deputy chief physician at King Hamad University Hospital Dr. Omar Sharif indicated that the National Campaign for Early Detection of Colorectal Cancer aims to raise awareness in the community and urged the target group to do the necessary examination by analyzing through the FIT examination. Sharif added that the campaign will contribute significantly in diagnosing cases in their initial stages, thus increasing the chances of recovery for the patient and reducing their suffering. While Professor Dalal Arumehi, a consultant in endocrinology and diabetes, representative of King Hamad University in the National Committee for the Control of the Chronic Non-Communicable Diseases, said the national campaign was launched in the city center complex to include an awareness and educational exhibition with the participation of consultants and doctors specializing in colorectal diseases to provide free medical consultations. In addition, colorectal consultant Dr. Isan Mazen Juma stressed that the campaign is the largest of its kind in the Kingdom of Bahrain, calling on both citizens and residents to conduct the examination for those who have a personal or family history of such a disease. <laughs> 